Hi, my name is Nanny. I have a problem. I tend to hyperfixate on things I see for 30 seconds on screen or when I find one single picture online and never see the thing again. And I have the impulse to have those things. Of course, I can find them, so I have to make them myself. Today's victim is this beautiful sequin dress from the new Barbie movie. This is the only picture. This is the only reference I have. Let's do this. Let's prepare the pattern. Where is my... Uh, not here. Oh my god, did I lose it? Just put it somewhere else. As usual. And also, uh, the fabric that I bought for the inside of the dress disappeared. I need to find it. That is the only available picture of the dress that I was able to find. So I'm gonna treat it like the other Barbie dress I made in terms of shape and everything. I guess I could reuse the bodice and skirt panels, but I want to change a little bit because I was not really 100% happy with the shape of the dress in the end. I don't want to have such a huge like puffy skirt. I want to have a little bit of flair, but not that much. That would justify removing more from the back because I'm having the problem that it's, it's always creasing here and I, I do not enjoy this. I think I'm going to go like this. A v-neck on the back? Wait, it does... Oh, where is the picture? No! I forgot my cell phone. Oh no, I did not. The cell phone is still here. So we do have, again, a high collar. I think I will still go in the V from here. Oh, I can't. I need to... I'm gonna remove two centimeters from the thing and then I'm gonna make the v-neck from here. So this line is out. Uh, I'm gonna put the princess into the shoulder because I will need to open it. This is the back. <laughs> to mark the darts. Darts, darts, darts. And everything is going to the high figure point. Ah! You kill me, woman! I was so concentrated that when the phone rang, I jumped I three okay, meters. I'm too excited about this because, you know, it's a little bit complicated with having a little baby. Yeah. But, but, but. the call that I got was from my friend, your team. I might get the chance to meet Aubrey Plaza. What? No way! Oh my god! Dude! I don't care about the baby, throw it out! You're going to meet Aubrey Plaza! Oh my god! So, friend is meeting up with Plaza, maybe? That's amazing. This is where the princess scene will go. So let's close this up forever so I can open the other side. I'm curving it just to make it a little bit more feminine. This now is back open. And now we'll close side dart and armhole ho arm dart forever. Would you look at that? This will be cut on the fold. And let me see. This is the front part. I will make the the thing that will go on my neck later. And I'm adding more fabric in the middle. Where is it? Paper, paper. Oh, of course. And the reason I'm not showing my face today is because I'm still growing out my beard for the third appointment of my permanent beard removal. And it's it's very luscious again. I want this paper easier. I think I'm adding three inches to the skirt as a flary flare. Now I need to measure the skirt length. And this time I'm measuring my butt because the other dress was so short. So it's 19 inches from my waist. So I'm going to go here. And if it's too long, I can always shorten it. Gonna open just a little bit, a little bit flared. I don't want to have an exaggerated line here. Ta -da! This is the front. Now time to do the same to the back. The back! I caught a mistake before I cut the pattern, thank god. I was opening the flare from the low hip end of the dart and that's incorrect because otherwise I would just have to like <laughs> here. It needs to flare from the waist. So added another piece of paper here just to stabilize the pattern and I know now where I have to cut. Let's cut at one. <laughs> Muesli seems to like dog food now and sushi is having none of it. Muesli, stop. And you have to eat, Fräulein. Hi. Ah, I found my fabric. Thank goodness. 
this is the base fabric of course i was not able to find the correct exact fabric in a reasonable price with delivery to germany so we have to invent something i got this glitter it's the right color however it doesn't have the iridescence of the original or i got the iridescence but not the right color that's why i have a pink underlay so you can actually see the pink and this is what most of you chose on the poll and i think it's pretty close to the original i'll first cut the base layer show everything try it on see if everything fits then i need to take it off and then i can cut the sequin fabric to lay on top base stitch everything in place <sighs> and so Again, and now we need another project for this beautiful thing here. So if you see something online, let me know because it's beautiful. It does not deserve to be in my drawer forever. Let's start with the front. It needs to be cut on the fold. <laughs> my allergies. Today was very productive for me. I was able to clean the back entrance that you saw the state when I showed it to you during the shoe. <laughs> booties god it was out of control but now it's clean we can use it as a normal room again i still don't know if katie was able to meet aubrey plaza or not she didn't answer but i will consider that she did because if she didn't answer then she's there <laughs> or she is running away from me because she knows i will be mad if she doesn't i understand she's a baby and everything i'm just being very annoying i want a lot of seam allowance so i'm going for one and a half centimeters oh, the pen is not working Oh, I'm gonna need a facing. <gasps> I am already annoyed. And I also packed my bags for my trip to Brazil in two weeks. So I'm going there to visit my stepfather who turned 85 this year. And he's not having any of it. <laughs> I'm gonna go one centimeter here on this part as well. Because this is where the facing will be. So I don't need to have a lot of seam alone. Now that I have everything cut. Oh, and while I was cleaning the front part, the door was open and Sushi was outside. And I looked away for two minutes. And then when she came back, she was black from both sides because she rolled herself and I think badger poop. No idea. She had to take a shower. Now she's offended over there. She doesn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> Worked. It's a very simple dress. Mm. Nothing much about it. However, I have the gapings here. I just need to remove a little bit more fabric from the shoulder seams and that will be solved. Or I can take this apart now, lay the other fabric on top and do this. Let's pick this apart! <laughs> That's just now with me, like in a very heavy metal mood. People do be weird sometimes. <laughs> I will use this instead of base stitching because I don't want to spend my life here base stitching for huge pieces of thing to my thing. Understand? I just hope I have enough fabric for the dress and the bow. I'm actually making only the front of the bow with sequins because it's going to be against my arm and I have problems with scratchiness. And I do want to wear the dress so I need to make it wearable. I'm going to go on the cross grain because it's tool. Tool doesn't have a grain anyways not really hey, don't glue it to yourself please to the real fabric and also another thing that's good about tool is that in case i need more i can all the scrap to make the bow if i don't have enough oh come on ah come on Whoa! ah it's cut weird that's why it's not working I hope I will do the right side and not twice the thing because you've seen it happen before. Ooh, I might have enough for the bow. This is what's left and with the other bits and pieces that I can arrange, I think the bow will be the right size. Let this dry, come back later so I can cut and start assembling. I did a test 
run to see if I'm going to need to remove all the sequins from the seam allowances and I will not because it works. The sequins are small enough that there is no weird pulling and blah 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 happening. Thank god it's one problem less. Now to assemble all the pieces right sides facing but for that I need to pin. Pin a lot. Pin all the pins that I can pin if I can find the pins that I need to pin on the pin. Oh I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm so excited but I'm so obsessed with this dress. I can't wait and I finally have something to wear fancy dresses to. I was invited to a wedding but the lady said please avoid cream colors white and red so I won't be able to wear this one but I think I will make a Teota Matoshi in dark blue that I have but I need to find the perfect Teota and the wedding is in October so it will be cold. The theme of the wedding is fairy tale. I don't know why I'm so in love with this dress. You know what? I think I'm gonna start wearing all my fancy dresses everywhere I go. It doesn't matter where or what the occasion is. I will be overdressed for my life. My life requires overdressing. To sew this in the slowest thing possible. <laughs> Ugh, so long. It's definitely lighter than the original, but I love the iridescence of it. It is so freaking cool. It looks like almost white on the camera, but it's pink. <laughs> I love it. Now I need the thing to install a facing on the bits and pieces and the zipper. And I think we're done. Ah, and of course I need to shorten it because I cut a lot. It's very, very long. <laughs> I want my butt to be... I think I have it a little bit bigger than I thought it would be, but it's fine. My clothes don't need to be airtight. <laughs> I am allowed to breathe inside of my dresses once in a while. Where is the mark? Of course I lost it. There. 15 centimeters that I need to take out, so I will cut 12 away. So I have a little bit for seam allowance for the hem. Ow! My allergies! Oh, when will it stop? I'm not scared of cutting this. Now I have all of this for the bow and for my neck. Cut facings. Where did I put the thing? It's just for the armholes and for the back part. <laughs> Me? Yeah, fine. Yes, hello. Oh, it's not enough paper. Why don't I ever check the placement for the paper? <laughs> This is so cute, I can't! Ah! Time for work to work on this part. And I already saw the facing, but I did it wrong here. We need to redo the side. But this side is very good. Very, very good. <laughs> Sparkly things. <laughs> yes! I lost the camera thingy. I'll measure this up to here, construct the color here. Because since I'm going with a v-neck on the back, I want to close color here with snap. It needs to stop on the shoulder seam and continue. So let's uh, measure 11 and a quarter inches. And my neck is... I don't want it to be tight. The other one was very, very tight. 15 all around. I always have problems patterning colors. I know there is a way to do it. There is a, there is a formula and everything but I just don't have time for that. <laughs> <sighs> Isn't this the most precious thing? I don't think this is going to work. I'm gonna trip it on Sven. I'm not sure. <sighs> this is way too big. <clears throat> it's not the right way, but it works for me. And that's what I'm doing. Much, much, much better. It's not such a weird curve. And now I can cut this in the same curve so it doesn't have any weird. <laughs> it is installed. Just need a clasp to close this and then trim the excess. And I love the fit. It is so cute. And then it's just a bow. I think that's it then. Can't wait. I really can't wait. <laughs> This is the size of the bowl that I calculated and I will need to do some patchworking. I don't have enough fabric in one piece. It's necessary, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. How am I going to do this is the problem. I'm gonna sew this like a giant pillow, glittery pillow, and put some stuffing inside. With little to no overlap, then you can barely see it's attached to each other. Because if I overlap, then you can see the difference in color and I don't want that. I need to hand sew the hem because I don't want to overstitch it. And yes, so I have to hand sew it. And come on, look at this cutie. Isn't it the cutiest thing ever? Oh, I also need to install the snap on the back. Oh, should be streaming today, but I don't feel like it. I have a headache. So today I will not stream. Please forgive me. And also I have nothing else I can do on stream today. 
Is there a way to block WhatsApp group calls? Because there are some people in my family that don't know how time zones work and they keep calling at the worst times and it's ridiculous. So I want just to block calls coming from groups. It's probably just a butt dial, but even so it's very annoying. And still I have no idea how I'm going to present this dress to the world because it's just too good to be only my normal reveal in front of the screen here. I, I want more. And also after Ariel's amazing Barbie bag review, there is no way I can top that ever in my life. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, please. I'm gonna put the link somewhere and you can watch it. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Scene. Ha! We have a hem. Look at this. <laughs> it's just the best. I don't want it to be so sad. Adding some elastic straps to both sides so it will stick to my arms and be in the position it needs to be. Because why not? I actually thought about making this like a whole thing throughout. Like the bow should be the sleeves. But I didn't have enough of the sequin fabric to make the other side. So it will stay like this. And we are going to have to live with this. What are you doing in the trash? Stop! Stop! No nose in the trash, Fräulein. No nose in the trash. Uh, and everybody's making that gingham pink dress. Don't know about you, but I can't see those anymore. Like here. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's done. It's done. And the best part is I can totally dance. We can cry when it's over. In love. <laughs> I think mine is a little bit fluffier than the original. <laughs> I love it. It's a huge bow and it's ridiculous. It looks ridiculous. Favorite thing when I look ridiculous. This dress is so comfortable. There's nothing poking or the sequins are not in the way of anything, but it's kind of warm. Well, I'm also wearing boots. No wonder they're warm. But come on, the boots with the dress. Isn't it the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen? I love it. I love it so much. I'm, I, I, this will be my I wanna go out dress forever. I don't care. I, I, I'm just in love with this. It's the shortest I can go. If I tilt forwards, everybody can see my butt. However, it needs to be this short. I'm leaving for Brazil on Sunday and I think I'm gonna wear this in the airport. <laughs> if it weren't like 11 hours of flight, I would wear this in the airport. And I can even <laughs> sleep if I put both of them on top of each other. It's a very nice, cozy. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of trash here. I hope this is not in the frame when I'm editing this because I have no time anymore. Look, boots is this cool or what? I love it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Ta-ta. Why are my clothes always so warm? Never mind the gigantic bow in front of me. It's just warm. Oh, I'm avant-garde. Get me out of this.